This is a cursor slash command. Hi, I'm Jan, CTO of React Squad. We have dozens of teams working with Cursor every day and I'm also trained by Eric Elliott, the author of The Art of Effortless Programming in AI-Driven Development. And in this video, you're going to learn how you can use slash commands to automate tasks, how you can chain them and how you can pass inputs into them. You might be thinking right now, can't I just use cursor rules? But this video is also going to explain to you exactly how slash commands are different from cursor rules. For example, with the slash log slash command, you can automate the generation of a change log for your repository. To create a new slash command, you start with the cursor directory, where you create a directory called commands, and there you can define one file per new slash command. And the log slash command is written with pseudolang, so it starts with a preamble, then it defines some behavior around usage of emojis and some constraints that dictate how the command will be executed, and then also some pseudo functions. If you didn't know, pseudolang is a programming language that was specifically designed to collaborate with LLMs. It helps you to save tokens and also increases the instruction following capacity of the LLM. If you want to learn more about pseudolang, let me know in the comments and I might create a crash course on it. But in general, you want to keep in mind that you want to manage the context of your commands. So keep them less than 150 lines of code. Now let's look into how you can chain slash commands. For that, create a new one called slash commit. This pseudolang program starts with the preamble, how the agent should act as a senior software engineer. It then talks about how to format the commit messages and also that it should pull in the changes from your changelog MD file. And finally, it ends with some constraints how the commit messages should be structured. If you now run this slash commit command in the same agent window where you also ran your slash log command, it will commit the changes to your repository with a beautiful commit message. You might be asking yourself, is there a difference between invoking a slash command and just adding files to your cursor agent prompt? Well, the difference is that the slash commands are user-defined prompts that can also contain references to other files and more instructions. And cursor slash commands are also different from cursor rules because cursor rules are just included as context for every prompt for the agent, but the slash command becomes your actual prompt. Now you can also pass in inputs to slash commands. For example, if you have a cursor slash command for writing tests, you can pass in the file that contains the implementation. I love you very much. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button to learn more about web development. And now go watch this video on screen next. Peace.